Number one, Ibble Dibble here. Hello, friends. I hope you're having an amazing start to your weekend. I will be following up shortly with part two of my Live to Lead review. However, I cannot avoid commenting on these ridiculous leaks from Spare that have been in the news on everybody's lips. It's insane. This is Tampon Gate times 100 times 1000, and I cannot get enough. <laughs> My secret theory is that this was a long con. Spain is finally getting revenge on Harry. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Whatever happened to Ding. <laughs> Bing. Honestly, at first I couldn't even believe these leaks because they're so unflattering. Who in their right mind would even put these to paper, forget, publish them, forget, leak them? I honestly thought these leaks were fake, the work of scammers. The same way some scammers put together some lightly edited gossip articles and released it on Amazon as an ebook called Revenge and tricked everybody into thinking it was the real Tom Bauer book. I genuinely thought these leaks were just like a joke, a scam, but perhaps even more more troubling than the actual content of the leaks is the fact that mainstream media is reporting on this stuff <laughs> as if it's serious, as if it's true, real, important, and serious. These are brothers. Yeah. And you have to hope that there's some kind of resolution because yeah. there's so much pain on all sides. Absolutely. Yeah, those relationships are so important. Uh, and, and I guess by including it in the memoir, he's saying this is not just normal brothers pushing each other's buttons and maybe it gets physical a time or two. This is something different. It, it's, it, it's bigger than that yeah. when you're talking about someone's wife. You know, I grew up in a household with four boys and the, the easy response is brothers fight. But when you're talking about at this level for certain reasons, um, it's tough. But he said a lot could happen between now and then. Hopefully reconciliation can happen. Yeah. Because that's what we want to see. Yeah. I cannot believe this stuff is being reported with any degree of seriousness. It's wild. <laughs> And no, I don't think reconciliation is going to happen. I think the next time Megan sees the inside of Windsor, <laughs> it'll be next door to Wallace in the yard at Frogmore. Oh, okay, so I thought in this video I would just rank my favorite leaks, the ones that made me laugh, from chuckle to spitting on myself in coffee shops. <laughs> I am absolutely the person who will buy the audiobook of Spare so I can hear Prince Harry say this stuff out loud. Please put your funniest, most shocking, most <laughs> WTF leak in the comments below so we can chat about it. Number 25. This one goes out to all the pedants I've blocked on this channel. Harry thinks a duel can be among three people. <laughs> Harry, duel is a medieval Latin portmanteau. Dualis and bellum, a war of two. This album is dedicated to all the teachers that told me I never amount to nothing. That's it. Do you think he's a bigger embarrassment to his family or to Eaton as an educational institution? Number 24, Charles straight up asking his sons not to make his final years a misery at his own father's funeral. <sighs> I wish I were dead. This is high key relatable for a lot of parents of children who have married monsters. Number 23, Charles. The king is jealous of Meghan's popularity. I don't think so. I think the people like Charles's cookies more than Megan's cookies. Numbers 22 and 21. Megan isn't the only one in this couple imagining she lives in a fairy tale. Harry worried Camilla was going to be an evil stepmother, especially when she converted his bedroom into her dressing room. What? 
Number 20, Chelsea Davy drinks like a champ. Harry, after all this woman has done for you. Number 19, Givenchy can't sew for shit. We all knew this because everything Megan wore as a royal was ill-fitting and unflattering. The audacity of Claire Waitcolor to say this in their series. Looking at the design of the dress, there were many conversations we had over how you want to present yourself to the, to the world. It has to be flawless. It has to be perfect. But it wasn't enough for Megan to allow Claire to make her look bad time and again. No, no, no. Number 18, Megan tried to gaslight Kate into thinking Charlotte's dress was supposed to fit that way. And it just needed a little touching up with the tailor. You hear that? That is the sound of hearts breaking all around the world. Numbers 17 and 16, the royal rug row. Harry knows that William is just super jealous of his thick, luscious, not at all sus locks and manly mask soldier beard. This wedding has been picking for months. Got a lot of expired. No return flights out of the country. And they said, what these guys are now? A positive wedding is something else. Something soon. Whatever you say, Bunker Harry. Fuck. Number 15, Charles told Harry they couldn't afford Megan. Well, come on, Harry. Megan was spending 20% of your allowance on clothes that didn't fit every year. Your immaculately tailored father probably thought she'd have them all replaced or redone. That would be 40% of your allowance. You can't even lease a Duchy of Cornwall holiday home with outgoings like that. Numbers 14 and 13. Harry acts like he never met an American before Megan. Americans do not hug everyone they meet. <laughs> Americans do not share their lip gloss. Your wife loves loves to violate people's personal space as a narcissistic power play. She doesn't fall in love with everybody you introduce her to. She's testing their boundaries. And it's rude as hell. If I were Catherine, I would have told her I didn't have any, or I lost it, or I have a cold right now. <laughs> Number 11, Kate and Will were Suits super fans. Uh, have you ever had a show you always played in the background while you were doing other very, very unimportant stuff and mocked with your friend later. For me, it was One Tree Hill during college. I think that's what Suits is to them. But let me check. I've never seen this show. I want to be sure. Oh, I get it. People are going to continue with it anyway. Yes. Right. Would you like to eat my bagel now, too? Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Well, fry up my hat and give this thespian supermodel an Emmy. Number 10, Prince William wagged his finger in Meghan's face. Well, all the royals do point their fingers. They point them at children. They point them when joking. They point them at sport. They point them when accusing people. That said, if William recoiled from Meg's hug, I doubt he would get close enough to her to actually wag his finger in her face. The whole attempt to portray William as a nasty bully is unconvincing. So you did not find him looking for her. I went from a bike ride with my children on Saturday. Fine. That's fine. And you won't give me your name. You're outrageous. You're disgusting. You really are. I dare you behave like that. Well, shiver me timbers. I'm incredibly threatened by his violent nature. <laughs> I think William speaks for all of us when he says... Where have you come from? I just walked up from Western. So why are you here? That's probably what he said to Megan. Racist. Number nine. William grabbed Harry by the shirt collar, breaking his necklace and launching him into a dog bowl. This is not physically possible. It sounds like Harry was ignoring what William was saying. William grabbed his shirt collar, not his chin or his face, mind you, to physically turn Harry to look at him. And Harry <laughs> slipped and fell in the kitchen. Now talk to me later. Get out! Get out! Get out of here! Get out! Of here. Get out of here. Stop it! Get out of here! Michael, what's the matter with you? Jesus. Bringing me to number eight, they call each other Willie and Harold when fighting or all the time. <laughs> I genuinely thought this was some sort of 
mistranslation in the Spanish version. Så det är inte bara bra för dig. Allt du gör speglar oss som familj. Du måste sluta tänka bara på dig själv. Okej, okay, okej, okay, Vina. Det måste gå. Number seven, Harry can't take a joke about his parentage, even though Prince Charles can and tried to teach him to find the humor in it. Quote, Paul liked telling stories, and this was one of the best in his repertoire. He'd always end with a burst of philosophizing. Who knows if I'm really the Prince of Wales? Who knows if I'm even your real father? He'd laugh and laugh, though it was a remarkably unfunny joke, given the rumor circulating just then that my actual father was one of Mummy's former lovers. Major James Hewitt. One cause of this rumor was Major Hewitt's flaming ginger hair, but another cause was sadism. Maybe it made them feel better about their lives, that a young prince's life was laughable. Never mind that my mother didn't meet Major Hewitt until long after I was born. End quote. <laughs> oh my gosh, Harry, your father was trying to teach you a lesson about taking it on the chin, not actually question your parentage. And by the way, he would be completely within bounds to actually question your parentage. It's a lot like that Ronan Farrow situation. Everyone involved can stick to their lines, but we all have eyes. Number six, Harry lost his virginity behind a pub to a horsey older woman. <laughs> Honestly, I just thought this was standard for all upper class Brits. <laughs> Don't your house masters just <laughs> call up their divorcee friends when a boy turns 16? No, <laughs> not a thing. Numbers five and four, Toff, Todger, TMI. <laughs> Harry shares with us that both he and William are circumcised, as if anyone asked, and that he had a frostbitten dick during his brother's wedding. I just, I, I <laughs> hope he brought enough socks with him his second go around for Megan's sake. Number three, Harry believes he is psychically communicating with Princess Diana. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Number two, Harry reached Queen Elizabeth too late, and the last thing he said to his already gone grandmother was, I hope you're happy. He must be so out of touch with reality, he doesn't understand what a spiteful little shit he sounds like. Unbelievable. And finally, number one, the biggest laugh of all, that Harry wants his brother back, wants his father back. The ball is in their court. Oh my God. <laughs> in what delusional metaverse would anyone, let alone a literal king, stoop to meet your demands? It's absurd. It's surreal. It's tragic comic. Okay, let me know in the comments below if you are watching the interviews today and which leak filled you with the most <laughs> horror. <laughs> Toodles! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.